Hello everyone, this is Oshani from Chinta.com. In this video, we will talk about a very important topic. How do you even get started with non-routine problem solving? How do you get really good at it? If you are a beginner, you might be wondering that how does it click? I mean, if there is a tricky problem, how do you even think about the trick? So, in this video, we will discuss three strategies which you can take up to reach that level of skill set. And we will also discuss how you can use the problem solving workshops at Chinta.com effectively to reach that level. If you are new to this channel, welcome. We talk everything mathematics here. We discuss books, interesting problems, contests and so on. If you are interested, please join us and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. So, how do you start getting good at non-routine problem solving? As I mentioned, there are three things that you should be doing. The first thing is called observation. The second thing is called performance. And third thing is called community. These are the three important things. So what is observation? I, I talk about this analogy all the time. Imagine that you are a student of music. 80% of your job is to listen to the masters performing. You have to see other people doing great work. The same thing is true about mathematical problem solving. If you want to do great mathematics, you have to see other people do great mathematics. And if you are just a beginner, that is your one of the most important jobs to observe. Now, during the observation phase, you might not be able to understand everything. That is totally all right. You may not even know the concept. That is also all right. <laughs> You are just letting your brain soak in whatever strategy, whatever insight the performer, the master, the peer is doing. I'm just keeping the analogy for music on, right? So, how do you do it? Well, at Chinta, we have a structure called problem solving workshops. If you are at grade 7 or above, and if you are enrolled in our Math Olympiad program, or ISICMI entrance program, then you are probably doing American math competition workshops or IOQM workshops or NMTC workshops, depending on which class you are in. These happen four to five times every week. So what happens is a faculty comes in, an expert faculty comes in, and there is a set of problems. And they, the, the students and the faculty just discuss these problems between themselves. If you are new, if you are a beginner, your job is not to worry too much about understanding everything because you will not. Your job at this phase is to observe. And this will go on for at least two months. For at least two months, you will just be an observer. You will taking, you'll be taking down notes. You'll be asking some questions. You'll be trying to understand how the mind of the problem solver is working, you are a keen observer at this particular phase. Now, an interesting thing will start happening after the second month and you will realize inside yourself that after the second month, you will be beginning to contribute in the problem solving process. When someone poses a problem, you will be able to say something about it. And that transformation takes time. On an average, it takes about a couple of months. It may take a little bit more. Maybe it takes a little bit less. Depends on the student. So after the second month, you are more of a participant than an observer. And if you do this for five days a week, continuously, week after week, month after month, then you will reach a certain level of expertise, which is necessary for these contests. 
and it is a very enjoyable thing to be able to think about such tricks and such interesting insights into problems. It feels wonderful, really. So that's the first step, observation. You join the problem solving classes, you observe for a couple of months, not to worry about X concept, I don't know that, so on and so forth. Just keep on observing and after a couple of months, you will sort of see the change in yourself. The second thing, the second thing is performance, as I mentioned. The first one is observation, it's done. Now it's performance time. Performance means you have to set some goals. Put a schedule together. Budget your time. So, in this channel or at Chinta, we suggest 3,000 great problems over one year period. 3,000 great problems. Not just any problem, great problems. If you can do that, then you will be in a really good shape. Now, how do you select these 3,000 problems? Well, 1,000 of them will be done in class, provided you are attending the problem solving classes, the concept classes, the doubt clearing classes, the homework problem sessions, and all of them. You will be able to see 1,000 problems happening in front of your eyes. Of course, in many of those, you will be a participant in the discussion as well. The remaining 2,000 problems you will have to do yourself. Those will be the homework problems, the long problem list problems, and the suggested problem sets. Keep this goal of 3,000 problems over a period of one year, and this is your zone of performance. The third thing, that's the community. It's so important. If you want to do really good problems, you have to be in the community. You have to communicate with others. At Chinta, there are a couple of structures which will help you to do this. The first thing are the WhatsApp groups at Chinta. If you are a member of Chinta program, you will be added to your group and many a times students discuss problems among themselves back and forth. That is extremely important if you are a if you are seeing someone asking for some help in a particular problem, why don't you think a little bit about that problem? If you are stuck in a problem, you can also ask the same question in the group. In that way, you will find a couple of other, other people who are also interested in the kind of mathematics that you are. That's the first part. The second part are the math circles. We encourage every student at Chinta to become a teacher. So we have a structure called Math Circles where we attach you to a group of students from rural India. After you learned something at Chinda, you will be able to teach them that. That's also a sense of community and that will let you put your learning into work. That is a very, very important step because it will make you think about your learning in a deeper level. So, ask for help and teach some people through math circles. That's the community section. So, if you want to be really good at problem solving, use the problem solving workshops for observation, create a schedule for 3000 problems a year, that's performance, and build a community around yourself to do nice problems. That's ask for help and teach at math circles. So, this will put your journey into non-routine mathematics in a very enjoyable level. And I hope this video has been useful for you. I'll see you in the next one. Keep on doing great problems and put a comment if you have a question or uh, an observation. Okay. Thank you all. Take care and bye.